वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन सब्जेक्ट सर्विंग टुडे वी लर्न द टॉपिक कर यूनिट नंबर फाइव एंड टॉपिक इज सेटिंग आउट ऑफ द कर बाय लीनियर एंड एंगुलर मेथड्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी सी द डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ डिफरेंट मेथड्स फॉर सेटिंग आउट द कर सच एज देर आर टू मेथड्स लीनियर मेथड्स अनदर इज एंगुलर मेथड्स इन केस ऑफ द लीनियर मेथड्स फर्स्ट मेथड वी सी of simple circular curve is offset from the long chord another is uh, successive bisection of the chord so in this lecture we learn the offset from the tangent or perpendiculars or it is also called as radials then offset from the chord produce so offset from the tangents uh, perpendicular or radials so first we see the radial offset so these methods is Uh, perpendicular uh, these methods is used uh, for the tangent may be calculated to set out the required curve the offset can be either radial or perpendicular depending upon the it tangent so in this methods we see the radial offset so if you see the figures uh, let o is the center of the curve uh, it is accessible let t1 is the tangent points let e is the points on the curve okay then from the tangents uh, curve setting is possible let at a uh, at a distance x uh, let d is the point at a distance x from the t1 tangents now it required to find out the radial ordinate ox so this ordinate ox ox is equal to de that is a distance d so that the point c on the curve is located so this is the point c over the curve is located from the triangles so o t1 and d okay o t1 d in this triangles od square is equal to od square is equal to o t1 so this is the od is this is exactly 90 that's why od square is equal to ot1 square ot1 square ot1 square plus t1 d square so we have to find out this value so ot uh, od square is equal to r square plus ox square so distance is ox already we know that d is equal to ox so r plus ox so r is the radius of the curve so that's why r is r plus ox is equal to r square so as we know that o t1 is equal to r and the distance is t1 d is equal to x square okay then ox is equal to we can write ox is equal to ox plus r in bracket r square plus x square just we have to uh, simple uh, this term we have to simple uh, we can see here ox plus r is equal to uh, under root of r square plus x square or ox is equal to in bra in bracket uh, under root of r square plus x square minus r an appropriate expression for ox may be calculated by using uh, that neglecting the higher terms order we have to find out uh, ox is equal to x square upon x square upon 2 r square so this is the approximate value of radial offset then uh, we move towards the okay see here uh, then offset from the chord produce so offset from the chord produce here this method is very much useful for setting out the curve in this method a point on the curve is fixed taking the by taking by offset from the tangent taken at the rear points of the chord thus a point a of the chord is t1a so you can see here is t1a this is the points so, so this distance is t1a so distance is t1a is fixed by uh, taking the offset as o1 so this is the o1 is a a1 so over the uh, this a a1 uh, where the t1 a1 
is the tangent at so this t1 a1 is tangent at the curve tangent at the curve at point t1 similarly b is the fixed by taking the offset o2 so you can fix the b point here this is the b point so this is t1 a distance this is first chord a to b this is another chord so over the t1 first we have to make the op, uh, tangent points so the distance is o1 is equal to t a a1 and t1 a1 is the tangents over the t1 uh, similarly at the b is fixed by taking the offset o2 so here the offset o2 uh, is equal to b b1 so this distance is b b1 okay then uh, where a b1 is the tangent at a so let t1 a so t1 a distance t1 a is equal to c1 we have to just uh, chord uh, first chord length that's why we have to um, give the name c1 is the first chord similarly the uh, that uh, second chord that is a b it is a second chord that is a c2 we have to denote it by c2 be the full length chord and this is the chord uh, t1 a is the that is a first chord it may be a less than the full length chord okay so let delta 1 so delta 1 is the deflection angles at a1 uh, a1 t1 a a1 so this is a1 then uh, t1 at a so this angles is the del uh, delta 1 so delta deflection angles similarly delta 2 so another tangents and are these angles that is a delta 2 that is in between b1 a b okay so this angle is delta 2 then the property of the circle uh, property of the circle uh, circular curve t1 o a so where is t1 o a in this the angle is 2 delta 1 similarly uh, here uh, this chord C1 already we given the name this is C1 the chord uh, T1A is equal to R cop T1A so this is the R cop we have to uh, that arc so you can see here so you have to understand so this arc and we have to just make the straight line so we have to take the this chord C1 we have to given the name is C1 okay C1 chord is uh, c1 is equal to chord t1a is equal to arc we have to arc t1a so r we know that the arc t1a here the given name is t1 and this is the a this is the o so this arc o t1a this is arc t1 this is the radius r this is also same radius r that's why r into this angles so anchor is equal to arc is equal to as we know the arc is equal to angles for example this angle is theta so theta so arc as we know that arc is equal to r into theta so here the theta is 2 delta 1 that's why the t1 a is equal to r into 2 delta 1 okay 2 delta 1 is the first angle so delta 1 is equal to here delta 1 is equal to c1 divided by 2 r this is equation number 1 now set the o2 arc is a a1 here is the o2 okay so this arc is a a1 here is a c1 delta 1 similarly c1 delta 1 okay substituting the value so o1 is equal to substituting the value of delta from of the equation 1 uh, into equation 2 we have o1 is equal to c1 into c1 divided by 2r then we have to get c1 square upon 2r similarly for the o2 you can find out the c2 in bracket delta 1 plus delta 2 so just we have to put the value we have to get uh, o2 is equal to c2 divided by 2 r's in bracket c1 plus c2 similarly for the o3 as we know that the full length of the curve is c2 is equal to c3 that, that is the full length chord that's why c3 is equal to o3 just we have to get the find out the o3 is equal to c2 square upon r okay so this is the you remember that you have to not any derivations but you have to remember the uh, how this value comes uh, first value you have to remember that um, o, o1 is equal to c1 square upon 2r then for value of c2 you can remember 